Hey Russ, you like Pop Rocks? Well, yes I do, Sam. Okay, so I found this great myth online the other day. You know the old urban myth, you know the old urban myth that they always say that if you were to eat a bunch of Pop Rocks and then chug a gallon of soda, your stomach would burst? I do, Sam. I'm, I'm aware of this. Well, I was thinking, how about we test that? Think about it. How many times as a kid have you heard the story, you eat a bag of Pop Rocks, you try and drink as much soda as you can, you're gonna start spewing foam as hard as, as hard as a fire hose before you know what's going on. Your friends are scared of it, you won't try it, and your mom's gonna yell at you if she hears that you're going to. True. So what makes these two such a volatile combination? Well, in the manufacture of Pop Rocks, it's made just like a bunch of other candies. It's got sugar, it's got glaze, and it's really, really not that different from most of the other candy store candies that you find out there on the market. The key difference is its gimmick, the popping part. Because they want it to melt in your mouth and create a great popping sensation while you're eating it, they pump in high pressure carbon dioxide while they are making it. And so because of that, it makes these little pockets that melt away when it's put in with a liquid like the soda. Therefore, it creates this huge geyser effect in the soda, mixing it with the carbon dioxide in the soda and the candy. King Smithy here with the plastic bag. With our experiment, uh, we're basically trying to replicate a human stomach. We were originally going to go with using a balloon, but it did not work out. So now we're gonna use this plastic bag, which is uh, much more simple and straight to it. But how thick is a human stomach? According to Curtis Helena and Sue Barnes in Invitation to Biology, the human stomach, when distended, can hold up to two to four liters of food. Okay, so the whole thing that we have here is an attempt to try and find the most human stomach like object that we can use to test this myth. What we're going to do is we're going to fill up with Pop Rocks, we're going to then pour soda into it, and if it explodes, then hey, the myth is confirmed. But if it doesn't, and if it actually extends to about the same length that the human stomach would at max, then we can say that this myth is busted, and you cannot die from this mixture actually happening to you. King Smithy here, with the plastic bag. With our experiment, uh, we're basically trying to replicate a human stomach. We were originally going to go with using a balloon, but it did not work out. So now we're gonna use this plastic bag, which is uh, much more simple and straight to it. We're pouring uh, some Coke into the beaker. 100 milliliters to be exact, and we're gonna pour this uh, Coke into that bag uh, with one uh, packet of Pop Rocks, and we're gonna see what happens. As you can see, exactly what you expected to happen. Sounds like love. Love it. So right now, he sounds weird, but He's not dying. All right, so now we're gonna put in two bags of Pop Rocks and see if Timmy was really hungry and really got into his candy, if this would be enough to kill him. Oh, I'll show one more. All right, get them all. You don't want to miss any Pop Rocks. And down the hatch. Not still the same reaction that we got before. Nothing's happening, but there's definitely a little bit more tension in here. It's not the limp bag that it was when we squeezed all the air out anymore. It's got this little gas bubble in it. So I say, be up the ante, throwing all these Pop Rocks. We're gonna throw in five packs and we're gonna triple the amount of liquid that we throw in. We're gonna see if it gets any kind of reaction.
Now we're gonna have the Coca Cola. Guys, how about this? Jeez. Well, it was definitely by far our biggest reaction. And it's still releasing all the carbon dioxide, but I doubt it's gonna make it pop. So we didn't pop the bag, but I'm thinking that there would be a kid out there who is so unhealthy that he would eat an entire packet of Pop Rocks and chug an entire gallon of soda. So I really would love to amp this test up because even though there might not be a kid out there who really eats all this stuff and is that unhealthy, we don't want to end this without trying to get a bang out of the bag. So we are going to amp this up as much as we possibly can and we are going to try and get some kind of explosion. However, in terms of a real kid eating this much, I think the myth is busted. So tell us, Sam, how many Pop Rocks are in there? It's like 14 packets. Wow. It's glorious. We're gonna put all this into the bag full of Pop Rocks. Let's go. Go, go, Pop. <laughs> it's alive. It's all alive. It exploded. <laughs> Not in the traditional sense, but uh, what did we witness here today, Sam? We witnessed what happens when sugar meets sugar meets CO2 meets CO2 meets delicious amazingness in a large plastic bag and then gets hurled at the ground, is what we learned today. This myth is thoroughly and solidly busted, my friend! What did you expect to witness here today? Did you think the bag was going to blow? I thought it was going to blow up, but uh, obviously it didn't happen. Sam just threw it down. The best explosion we could get. Yeah. <laughs> the only explosion we could get. So Russell, what did you uh, feel about it not blowing up? You know, I thought it was going to. I really did. I thought, you know, with a whole half of a two-liter bottle of Coke, pretty much, and. 14. What did you think about suggesting the larger bag over the smaller <laughs> one? <laughs> I learned that I can eat as many Pop Rocks as I want and still not explode. Well, within reason, at least. And I learned that I can change shirts in what we're calling one day. I did it three times! We both did it three times. High five! Oh, but anyway, actually, we did learn that the myth is busted. It seems that no amount of Pop Rocks will truly explode a human stomach or a plastic bag acting as a human stomach. Or at least any amount that would be feasibly eaten by a human being. Yes. Uh, we should point out a couple cons, though. Just, you know, we did not have any stomach acid, obviously. So, the reaction there that could have, I mean, that can add something to a reaction, I'm not exactly sure what it would, but we didn't have it, so. We didn't have an actual human stomach. So, yeah. those variables were kind of out the window. That is a con, my good man. And finally, our, uh, you know, I think our biggest con was, uh, was thinking that the bag would explode. That con does. Con is good. Yeah. Alright guys, so until next time, we will see you whenever I feel like it. Later!